want everybody to know everybody going through something. And I mean everybody. Um, let's talk about the lies, man. Let's talk about all these lies that were behind the back. First and foremost, let me just give you this about people character. Whenever you meet somebody and they you met two people and you deal with both of them. And all of a sudden the person, one of the per one of the individuals tell you, don't tell the other person something. That's a red flag. And I'm quite sure a lot of y'all on here is intelligent enough to know when a red flag is up. I mean, when I, I, I just can't understand how so many people could deal with me. I support me. I don't need nobody's support. I mean, y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all did excellent for the cause, but Outside of that, I'm good. I, I appreciate all y'all that support my daughter and my family. But I just don't understand why wouldn't any of y'all find that strange and reach out to me. Now, there was a, 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 quite a few of them that did reach out to me. I mean, not say it wasn't. Quite a few reached out to me and told me, all right, man, you got watch, dude, but they wouldn't go into it and this and that. And I get it now. I get it. Um, But, you know, one thing about me, I, I pay attention to everything, and I kind of fell back and watched things. Um, When Team True started falling apart from his original uh, form, and when I say that, I was, I'm talking, speaking about a lot of the older queens, the very educated queens, that stay way, 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 way back in the background. The ones that was relentlessly fighting for Team True. Not messy. Very intelligent. So I want to say that for them, thank you. And I also want to say, that, you know, you're not forgotten. And we speak regularly. Uh, some of them still email me and uh, we stay up. So for those that think Team Truth, um, is basically three or four people that may have sh expressed their their uh, disappointment with 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 uh, this guy. Then y'all sadly mistaken. Team Truth is all around the world. Maybe I need to. No, I wouldn't do that. But maybe I would let y'all look at. You know, see some DMs. It's a lot of people that support Team Truth to the day, a lot, and all around the world. I think y'all have y'all little small, messy, ignorant ass group that y'all represent. Y'all really believe that that is a whole big entity, and it's really not. It's really not. But I say that not to diss anyone because some people there for the right reason, some there for the mess. But what I can't understand is how do y'all display yourself as being so intelligent? But yeah, y'all let a motherfucker just tell y'all anything and y'all fooled by this. Y'all go for any and everything somebody say without question. So y'all really believe that this guy Talks to my daughter more than me. Y'all really believe that this guy, my daughter, confided confide in him more than she would me. But this is the shit y'all listen to in y'all little private groups and y'all little private conversations. My daughter calls him up, him and his wife up, and confide in them more than she confided in me. And her and her mother. That's where y'all getting all this goofy shit from. And that's what y'all really, really believe, right? That's crazy. But I can tell y'all this. Since y'all so caked up over there, 
we could put up whatever amount of money you got or whatever amount of money y'all want to come up with. And we can guarantee you show receipts, bills, phone bills, and I guarantee you not near motherfucker over there or probably anywhere talk to her more than her family. That she got a new, new friend in her life. That's it. So all these fucking lies that went on, and I'm really not going to touch on the real shit that's really, really fucking irritate me, but he know what it is. And uh, I, I'm not going to touch on that. But I don't know what kind of sick shit motherfucker was thinking about when you sitting there throwing all these seeds behind my back. And then you play this fucking victim shit on this fucking internet. Yo, they did this to me. They did this to me. What the fuck did somebody do to you, bro? If you go outside the house and I tell you, me and you walk to the store and we have a fight. Boom, boom, boom. We fought. So what? I tell you, yo, when you go back down there, let that shit go. All right, yo. And I go in the house, I go to sleep. You go back down there, you stand across the street, you just throw bottles at them, hit people on the head. They see you don't run away. They know it's you. I wake up the next day, and you talking about, yo, we beefing. Like, we beefing? What was going on? I don't even know, yo. They, they mad at me. But then they find out you went down there and threw bricks and bottles at the man, hit, hit, hit that the people hit him in the head. So what that's called is self-infliction. Now you on the internet crying, or rather, I ain't gonna say crying. I'm gonna say manipulate, playing your game, and you make people believe that I left you, or I just deceit that deserted you, motherfucker. That right there is one of the most irritating shit that I ever seen in my life, dude. You did everything I told you not to do. When you chose to receive money for whatever your personal gain was, that's fine. I back the fuck away. I don't give a fuck what you gave, what you helped out with. It would never amount to what you received. And one thing about it, Teen Truth never got not near nickel. Angelo have never asked you for nair nickel. So let that ponder a little bit with these other trillion lies that's out there. I got mad emails, a lot of conversations that motherfuckers had, manipulating conversations. I got the, man, the conversations, let's talk about how to build the commentary up when it get dry. I also know about the, it's the Angelo week shit that everybody get in. Like one thing about me, bro, I'm far from a dumb motherfucker, bro. And believe me, I can sit on shit and sit on shit until it's time for me to feel like now I want to go ahead and uh, address this shit whatever way it got to go. But make no mistake, brother. Ain't there a motherfucker secret you I mean lie you ever told I ain't heard. I'm addressing it now because you need to hear this while you out. So you can give rebuttal. You can go lie to your peoples again. You had them goofy motherfuckers believe in whatever you want. That's fine. See, you made this about me and you. It's never been me and you, brother. Never been me and you. See me. My fight was strictly for victims. Victims. People that are couldn't fight for themselves. And I never, ever, ever put money or anything else in between that. You run around this motherfucker and say, oh, I spoke up for this. I spoke up for that. Did you ever talk about you the one that threw the fucking gasoline on it? While I was asleep, out of the way, traveling, all the other shit you said that I was. Like you said, I was the broken man that came to you and you joined the fight, man. You got shit fucked up, bro. 
I heard all, bro. And I let you feed into that because I'm like, well, yo, fight for a cause. I'm going to let them go ahead and rock out. I ain't going to never call them out. There's so much shit I could have got on there and called you out right then and there. So I just stopped getting on your channel. But, dude, you run around this motherfucker really believing you the smartest motherfucker on the internet. Dude, they laughing at you. And then the thing about motherfuckers laughing at you, I tried to give you the best advice as a brother, as a motherfucker who loved you, shorty. Motherfucker who loved your family. And nigga, what you trying to do behind my back to my family? It's crazy. And we ain't gonna go into that. It's crazy. And you really don't act like you see nothing wrong. You really gonna play and pop this little, I don't understand, you know, I did this and did that. You ain't do shit. When you address anybody that says something about me, understand this. I address them first on my motherfucking IG. Or you don't remember that when you sitting there saying, no, yo, no, no, I, I'm going to get them, yo, I'm going to get them. No, that's commentary. You're going to get them on YouTube. Why you think I stayed on IG? But see these dumbass followers of yours, this little gang gang, I'm going to call them gang gang. Because they ain't even followers no more. They gang gang. They feel they had something empty in their life that they needed to feel fulfilledness. These motherfuckers have forgot that they are intelligent. Some of them forgot that they are smart. Some of them forgot that they fucking college fucking uh, 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 graduates. I mean, I've never seen so many motherfucking idiotic people try to justify shit that's in their face. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all got y'all sitting there and really don't know the difference between supporting a YouTube channel and supporting victims. This is the crazy part. Some of y'all victims, real victims that I take shit serious. But y'all sit there and justify all the goofy shit that go on. Motherfuckers who called y'all out y'all motherfucking name, tore y'all down the dirt, did everything. And yet y'all motherfuckers kiki ha ha with the same motherfucker. You know what that's like? That's like playing with the same motherfucker that stood there and watched you get raped and he was laughing or filming. He ain't participate, but he filmed it and laughed. And now he on the show too. So y'all think about that. Y'all think about some of the shit that you engaged in and y'all motherfuckers running around this internet justify because it's this person. Are y'all fucking kidding me? Y'all keep talking about, oh, well, we support your daughter. We, 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 why? Yeah, my daughter don't need no supporters like y'all. None. She'll find supporters. People will come. Because, see, one thing what real people do, people stand with shit that's really the truth. Shit that really make fucking sense. And that shit y'all, goofy shit y'all got going on, don't make no motherfucking sense. Y'all standing there, that man sat on there. Not only befriended all the people that watched the harm get done and participated in all the harm, the back and forth with the abuse, the physical, the mental, the everything abuse. Y'all so happy to kiki ha ha on motherfucker peace. That showed me right there, and I told him a long time ago. I said, bro, if you get off the YouTube shit and step back, you're going to see what I'm telling you. This shit messy. These people ain't following nothing but mess. And if you stay off a week long, I guarantee you they're going to go on the other side because they, they're addicted to shit. They need to run around and be fucking messy. No, oh, yo, no, yo. No, it ain't like that, yo. They, they love me. No, bro, that's money. And you entertainment. And I don't do no motherfucking entertainment for people. Not an entertainer. But I will give you facts of life. The facts on some shit they got to do with me. I can't speak on anything else with everybody else. Then these goofy motherfuckers sit around. And act like this man ain't sit there. With his little daughter. 
at the fight for two and a half years. And this really would turn my stomach, would do. And played a fucking R. Kelly song. While my man was on the phone joking his ass and saying, yeah, I got this nigga playing R. Kelly. And this nigga got his daughter there while you're asking him to tell her, tell her dance to it. And you like a dummy sitting there like it was cool. <laughs> and y'all sit there and say y'all are fucking supporters. And y'all don't get the fuck out of here with that and delete y'all ass off my motherfucking page. Y'all are a fucking joke. I don't even know how you even have your daughter there. Somebody that precious. Standing there. While you pick through which one you gonna play. And thought that was some cool shit. <laughs> Man, y'all crazy, man. But you know what? That's y'all life. But understand this. Don't get me speaking up for me confused with anything that y'all got doing, going on. Because I don't count motherfucking people money. I don't give a flying fuck what you got going on. I don't fucking ask what nobody else got going on. I do what I got to do as low and quiet as I can do it. And I stay the fuck out of everybody way. Y'all really need fucking help. And y'all need to learn the difference. And I'm going to say it again. Between supporting victims. Supporting victims. And supporting somebody's page. Don't mix that shit up no more. Just say you support that channel. I support that guy. But don't run around this motherfucker and say y'all doing it for victims because y'all don't give a fuck about no victims. Y'all are kiki high high and that people getting fucking destroyed. Y'all sitting on here like a bunch of fucking imbeciles up here running around trying to get other people fucked up. Y'all out here sitting around and kiki high high and at everything. And then at night, y'all sitting there like, oh, I feel so sorry for this. I feel so sorry for that. I don't. I don't. Because if I go over there and slap somebody, I expect them to slap me back. I expect them to see me the next time and try to slap me again. And for the rest of our life, we do that until we come to a real mutual understanding that we just going to leave this alone. So why the fuck do y'all think that this is okay? That y'all can do all this back and forth with shit. And then y'all gonna tell somebody, when, oh, yo, yo, uh, I quit. No. You can't tell nobody when to fucking quit. But then you don't want to sit there and say, I should have listened. You know what? Now I see what y'all was saying. Now I understand why he felt back. Oh, now I understand why he moved like that. Oh, damn, now I understand why he was on my ass like this. You know one thing about a flunky motherfucker? Flunky motherfuckers do flunky shit. If you're a boss, you're a boss. See, I could be a wingman to anybody. It don't take away my status of who I am. How I carry myself and can't nobody tell me a motherfucking thing about my man who I'm feeling I'm loyal to. But when a nigga want to feel like he want that glorification, he feel like he want your strength, he want this. Don't you know Allah made all of us individuals? You could never get what I got. And I could never get what you got. You have to earn it the way you got to earn it. And I had to earn it the way I got to earn it. I don't give a fuck what role you take to get it. It's your way. So now, that goes back to loyalty. See, can't nobody come up to me and tell me, oh, you just a clown for him. Oh, you his go-to. You know what? I, I would have checked them first. I and mean, I never heard to worry about that, saying that again. Because I know who I am as a fucking man. But you know the sad part is? 
you show me you don't know who the fuck you is as a man because you let motherfuckers come in backbite say bullshit lies and you was okay with the going with that to try to use that as excuse it wasn't an excuse brother this is how you felt and this is what you wanted to do the whole time you wanted to show them i could be the man see blueprints take a while to learn every aspect of it and one thing i know about niggas they always love to get one through three or one through six and one through seven but never one through ten see a smart motherfucker never give them one through ten he always give them one through three one through four one through five maybe six but he gonna give them one through ten because he already know that he poses a threat to the future and when you sit back and watch everything that your gut told you manifest and look at this goofy shit that's going on right now i don't get into this shit man i call myself having real heart to hearts with people now, i don't know my fucking internet none of this but when you gotta run around and you're loud and you always gotta be the one that that lead the conversation no 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 see you gotta oh, oh see it is it you know what that is that's a person that never want to face the truth see when you're talking a truthful conversation you can sit there and be humble and don't say nothing out your mouth be humble let them talk yada 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 and then you you reiterate everything they said and then you you follow up with your with your with your rebuttal motherfuckers that don't let you get your rebuttal off it's because they already lied and now you're just wasting your goddamn time trying to show them what the truth is so you got to think about that you got to think about the people y'all follow think about all the motherfucking shit that y'all done got yourself into because after this year i truly believe that that topic it will be at rest uh whatever a law got in store it'll be dealt with and after that guess what it'll be no more of this goofy shit on the internet so you gotta think you ask yourself what y'all gonna do then and i did this just because i know people well, I think I know people very well. And I knew that once this man would have to go in to deal with what he got to deal with, that everybody looking for a home. And they're going to come running. They're going to try to DM and try to hit people up. And now they want to get back over here. And, hey, Lo, uh, you know, I heard that. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Whatever y'all got to say about this man, say it while he home, while he right there. Don't fucking wait till he locked up or away from here and then y'all come with this bullshit. I don't give a fuck about it. I'm away from it. I'm away from dude. I understand that the, 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 the shit that went on. I understand all the backbiting, the fugazi shit, the boot licking shit. I, 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 I get it all. And guess what? Y'all made them do that. Y'all help make him do that. I ain't gonna say y'all made him do that. Y'all help make him make him into he was. And that's cool. It's cool. It, I thank you. Yeah, I thank you. Because it got me to get the fuck away. But let me tell you this. Right? Y'all gotta ask y'all goofy ass self this, right? Y'all done lied. Y'all done had this man pumped up, think go against me. Think that I was his motherfucking enemy, but y'all ain't really do it. Y'all just stroke the ego that needed to be stroked. See, I don't need my stroke. I know who I am since I got off the step and walked onto a strip. I made my name then, and I never looked for nothing but legacy after that. I worked my ass off for my family, my kids, and my grandkids. I don't entertain this shit, but what I'm not going to do is sit there and tell you some lies about learning household and how they run their house or how they do this and do that i don't even speak on that so i want to know why in the fuck he thought it was okay him and whoever the fuck co-signed it 
okay to think that that narrative was okay. That you really could have more control in my daughter's life or more fucking, uh, I ain't gonna say control, more more uh, 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 a relationship in my daughter's life than me? Are you fucking kidding me? Then you put up a post saying, I just spoke to her, she in Africa. <laughs> Dude, the internet knew she was in Africa. She posted it. But I guarantee you, I could tell you when it first popped off. I could tell you who 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 communi got communication on it. So all that goofy shit you run around try to claim shit that need to be like it came from you. No, nigga. You and your channel came from me. Understand that. Me. See, when you holler all that, me, 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 you know what you never do? Tell the fucking truth, bro. And that's something you're going to have to lay down and look in that motherfucking mirror and find out why the fuck you're like that. And two, who the fuck you are, bro. You want to be every motherfucking body that you not instead of being you. You can't do what everybody in the world do. You got to do what you can do. But I get it. I watched a million niggas like that. Had to hold on, had to do what they got to do. They could go away. I don't knock none of that, bro. That shit's serious right there. But don't get on this motherfucker hollering some me shit and this shit. And you want people to feel sorry for you. Man the fuck up, bro. Man the fuck up. Because just like you, you're going to meet a million motherfucking men. Had to leave their family. And guess what? You're going to learn that motherfuckers love their family more than you love yours. So that bullshit, like you the first motherfucker in the world to leave and have to leave your kid. Nigga, I left with my motherfucking wife pregnant and little ones all around. And I ain't have a choice. It was boss in, boss out, period. So we, I was going. And guess what? It worked out. I didn't cry. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. And I damn sure ain't make it the world problem. Whenever you was doing whatever you was doing. That's on you, bro. That was your game. Remember that. Remember that, bro. Nobody want to hear a story, bro. You want some real goofy shit, bro. But I get it. Because, see, I know the overall projected picture. They don't. You still got them going. And that's fine. I ain't going to knock that. But what I am going to do is tell you, don't ever make that mistake with my family again. And I'm going to leave it like that. Because I never, ever, ever, went anywhere to disrespect you and your position with your family, period. And on that, peace. Y'all have a good night. Oh, and I do want to say shouts to uh, Mr. Denise. You did. I seen a clip of what you was talking about. Yes, you did. You begged me to, uh, to leave, and I understand that, and I get it now. But it was some things that I saw in him that had potential, and I thought his heart was pure. So I do want to address that before I get off. And when you think somebody heart pure, you kind of you kind of give them a second and a third and a fourth and a fifth chance to change it around. But dude chasing something that don't turn me on, and that's to have all the motherfucking money in the world to show somebody that everything is money, money, money. Now, sometimes it's the work to get you the money. See, the work itself can mean more 
anything you can ever amount to with the money. Because you build relationship, partnership, friendship, bond, and everything to get to the top. But when you jump straight to the top, you ain't got respect for none of that shit. You look for everybody to be a stepping stone to your motherfucking advantage. And when these motherfuckers wake up, whenever they wake up, they're going to be some hurt motherfuckers. They're going to be disappointed. They're going to be broken down. And they're going to want to just scream. Because they have all lost themselves in this internet. If I support you, I support you. If I stand with you, I stand with you. If I wronged you, I will apologize. If I didn't, and I'm and I stern, I just don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you. But know that when I opened up for you, man, and opened up a door, I love. I try to love hard because I don't let too many people in my circle. And a lot of motherfucker like you in my circle, bro. And this the ending. Oh, you yeah, you have really taught me something. You made me almost seem goofy, but it's cool. On that note, I'm out. I'm not gonna address this goofy shit no more. I'm done with this this internet bullshit. Y'all can have it. Because I ain't going to play that game. I ain't going to play games that don't make sense to so many people that hurt behind these shits. And that's a fact. I don't give a fuck what's going on in my life. I don't want to see the situation any different than what it is if I say I stand with you. I stand with you. I stand with you. Goofy shit, man.